All right, Krishna, everyone, this is Achuta Bhava from Nightlight Astrology, and today is Bhakti Wednesday. We're back, and so we are going to continue our series looking at the Sri Shikshastakam, uh, and I've titled this series, Even God Likes to Pray, because this is a prayer that was said to be written by uh, Lord Chaitanya, an avatar of God, uh, that is uh, Krishna in the Krishna Bhakti tradition. Um, so it's cool, because it's, it's interesting to think about how God prays, or the even the fact that God does pray is sort of mind-blowing if you meditate on it for a little while. Anyway, um, if you missed the first two parts of this series, I do recommend listening to all of them. You could listen to this as a, uh, you know, without having heard the others, and that's just fine too. I'm going to chant the prayer and then uh, reflect on the third verse today of this, um, of this prayer, which has a total of eight verses. So we'll go through the chanting again to start with, and you can find in the comments section or the description of this video, I should say, a link to the prayer, its translation, as well as the um, the the version of the chant that I am doing. So here we go. Cheto darpanam arjanam bhava mahadavagni nirvapanam shreya kairava chandrika vitaranam Vidya Vadu Jeevanam Anandam Buddhi Vardanam Pratipadam Purnam Ritasvaranam Sarvatma Snapanam Param Vijayate Shri Krishna Sankirtanam Nam Namakari Bahuda Nija Sarva Shaktis Tatra Pita Niyamita Shmarane Nakalaha Itadrishi teva kripa, Bhagavan mamapi, Durdaivam idrisam, Ehajani nanuragaha, Trinara pi sunichena, Tarora pi sahisnuna, Amanina manadena, Kirtania sadahari, Nadanam nadanam nasundarim, Kavitam va jagadisha kamaye, Mama janmani janmani ishvare, Bhavatad bhakti rahai tu ki tvai, Ayinanda tanunja kinkaram, Patitam mam vishame bhavam budau, Kripayata vapara pankaja, Shtitaduli sadri sam vichintaya, Nayanam galara shudaraya, Varanam gagadarudaya gira, Hulakir nichitam vapukada, Tavanam agrahane bavishati, Yugayatam nimishena, Chakshusha pravrishayatam, Sunyayatam jagat sarvam, Govinda virahe name, Ashlishiva pararatam pinashtumam, Adarshanan marmahatam karotuva, Yata tata va vidahatu lampato, mat prana natas tu sa eva na paraha. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Premanandi Hari Bo. So the third verse of this prayer is maybe one of the most famous verses uh, of of the prayer and um, one of my favorite verses of all time. So this third verse of the prayer reads like this. One who thinks himself lower than the grass, who is more tolerant than a tree, and who does not expect personal honor, but is always prepared to give all respect to others, can very easily always chant the holy name of the Lord. Remember that in bhakti, one of the... Um, the main ideas, I guess you could say, or the, the, the goal, if it can even be called that, is to enter into a state of per perpetual love, devotion, communion with God. One of the ways we do that uh, is through mantra meditation. 
in the bhakti yoga tradition we say that the mantra is the sound incarnation of god so it is god in sonic form and as a result when we learn how to meditate very deeply not which i am uh, good at at all but <laughs> when we learn to um move into the deep heartfelt expression of the names of god in mantra that we we enter into a kind of divine communion we start connecting with krishna we start connecting with the source of all things and here we have god as a devotee of god that's the position of lord chaitanya is who was a uh, Bengali saint and avatar of Lord Krishna and literally says, look, if you think of yourself as lower than the grass, you become more tolerant than a tree and don't go around expecting personal honor, but give it to everybody. In that state of mind, you'll be able to chant. You'll really deeply enter into communion with God. Well, on the surface, it might sound like he's instructing us to be like self-effacing like think of yourself like the dirt you know don't expect any personal honor give it to everyone else and then you'll be holy i've heard people kind of hear it that way before and that's really not the, the spirit or heart of the prayer the heart of the prayer this verse in particular as i understand it anyway and i've i've heard my guru and other teachers speak on it really has to do with the fact that it's it's hard to get into a deep I, I guess you know the way that i would compare it would be like um i'm just gonna go junior high here let's say you have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever in, in junior high and let's say that you really deeply want to connect with them you know romantically like it's your first kiss or something like that you have to get out of your head in order to really deeply have intimacy with the other person. So it's hard to have intimacy with God. It's hard to enter into this flow state of worshipful mantra meditation. If you're thinking of yourself as some big shot, <laughs> you know, if you're thinking about yourself too much in any way, but mostly thinking about ourselves would mean that we're taking ourselves too seriously. We're puffing ourselves up our, our ego is getting in the way of connecting with God. So easiest thing to do is think of yourself. I don't think it as when he says lower than the grass, I think what he means is common. Think of yourself like a grain of sand on the beach of eternity. Think of yourself as a tree, just one of a billion trees with the wind moving your branches somewhere in a forest in the midst of the universe. Just think of yourself. So don't think, don't think much about yourself. Just be, just be where you are. Be a normal, common part of the universe. In that simplicity, in that simple at homeness in the world of things. Be tolerant. Be comfortable in who and what you are. Don't be pretentious. And you'll find that if you start chanting, if you start gently chanting the names of God, that you'll just go right into a, a very deep state of communion. And that's all that's required. It's not, you don't have to be something. You don't have to be someone to access this or to enter into this state of communion. This lover is always ready. And the only prerequisite is that you just be your humble, simple self. Now, humble, we don't mean lowly, bad, less than. We just mean just be what you are. Be nothing more, nothing less than what you are. Think of yourself like a, just a common part of the universe. Be tolerant. Don't expect big things. People honor you, but give that kind of respect and love to others, to every other thing in creation. That attitude, that kind of humble at homeness giving of respect and honor to other beings if you keep that attitude and walk gently through your life with that attitude it will be easy to chant the holy names of the lord to commune with god
What a beautiful verse, right? I mean, man, that verse just slays me when, you know, I'm, I'm trying to parent and I, I'm thinking I've got to be a dad. I've got to be a good dad. I've got to be a, well, like a really good yogi dad. I've got to like, or I've got to be a good astrologer. Or, like I'm just white knuckling everything, you know? And it's always like, like the best thing about chanting. And if you, by the way, if you're like, I'd like to chant, check out, if you go back into my video series on Bhakti, you'll find a video called easy practices of surrender mantra meditation. And there's a great video in my archives there that can, you know, help you sort of practice. I know a lot of you who watch the Bhakti Wednesdays have a sadhana uh, or some kind of practice. So maybe you could apply this to however you connect to the divine. But, you know, just white knuckling everything all the time. And you, you, you get to this place where the best thing about your practice. For me, it's chanting. The best thing about chanting is every day, it is an opportunity for me to fail. And how good and relieving is it to fail and just be like, okay, what am I trying to do here? You know, <laughs> you know, and just come back to that, like, let's just pour out the glass of stupid confidence that has no, you know, it's like, oh, not confidence, but like arrogance, I guess. White, the white knuckled, uh, I, have, I have so much to be responsible for. I have some big thing I have to be, or I am some big thing or whatever, and just start doing mantra meditation. And if I allow it to enter into my heart, I'm like, I'm just, I'm just a little bush, just a little bush in the vast expanses of this overwhelmingly huge universe. And I'm just chanting the names of God. And then whoop, everything, I, I feel good again. Wow. I feel happy. The great phrase from the 1960s, the Hare Krishna's shared with everyone that George Harrison adopted was chant and be happy. So anyway, hope you guys are doing well. Another Bhakti Wednesday. Uh, Sri Shikshastakam prayer verse to look at today. Number three, the, the info is in the description. If you want to listen to the song, learn how to sing it, look at the words, read the translation. It's a, it's a beautiful prayer. We'll look at the next verse next week. Until then, I hope you guys are having a good one. Take it easy, everyone. Hare Krishna.